Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play God. Last time we went around and we did some side quests. Today we're going to be doing even more side quests, but related to kind of monsters that are around, or just little special dungeons that we can go into. First of all, starting with this Middle Eastern uh, meteor right here. All of the monsters in here are just old aliens that we fought in um, other dungeons. But the real reason why we're here is to go ahead and grab this strength seed. Sweet! I'm going to use that on Heath, and I'm going to meet you outside. Okay, I've made it out of here. So the next stop on my uh, list of things to do is the meteor over here in Europe. Yeah, right here, over here in Central Europe. I've landed on France or whatever. Now, we're not going to do everything in this meteor because you would get slaughtered if you tried to. I really just want to hang out here on the second floor. This is my goal. Okay, let's see what we got going on right here. These are the green babies. This is the encounter that I wanted. The green babies drop eight Cosmo Stones apiece. They only have five HP. They will either smile at you, or they will run away, or they will glare at you. There really is no in between. So you don't really have to worry about them. If you want to use like an Abergene wine or something like that, and try to double the amount of Cosmo Stones, that might be a good idea. Um, it's really up to you, but yeah, basically just go on in here, you can auto battle to your heart's content, and you can get as many Cosmo Stones as you want to here. Hopefully I'm actually able to kill one so I can show you how many, you know, Cosmo Stones and all that they drop. Um, we shall see. They don't really seem to be cooperating all that much with me because I'm kind of targeting different ones. Oh, wow, got all three of them there. And uh, yeah, they just continually run away. You know what, let's actually use a regular fight and then just have everybody attack the first one there so that maybe I can kill one. That would be a smart thing to do. Okay, well this guy glared at me, so that's something. Oh, perfect, 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 they both glared at me. Maybe I'll be able to kill two of them if I don't miss every single time. Oh, well, there's something. Come on, Heath, you can do it. Really, they're still not dead? Come on now. Oh, hopefully this will work out right. I really don't want them to run away. Okay, this guy ran away. Please don't run, please don't run. Thank you! Woohoo, we should be able to kill him this turn. God willing. Woohoo, got him! Nice! So yeah. It takes a bit of time to do it, but if you want to grind up Cosmo Stones, this is a great area to come to to grind them up. You'll get eight of them from those guys. They appear on the second floor right there. And there's some pretty cool music in there, too. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. So that's what we can do here at the, um, the European Meteor. So there's a couple more things that we can still do down here. Let's fly on down towards uh, Madagascar. And if you recall... I told you to buy fruit cocktails last time. Remember, you buy those at Angel Town, and those will come in very handy for this battle right here. Here we have the golden butterflies and the gold leech. You know what? Let's have you use the uh, fruit cocktail there. And uh, what I want you to do, let's see what we got going on here. The golden butterfly is weak to fire, and the leech is weak to ice. So yeah, you're going to do ice on the leech, and you're going to do fire on the... Um, where is it? There it is, on the butterfly. Perfect. No, don't run! Yeah, he likes to run away. That's no fun. But anyway, these guys are made of gold, so they drop a lot of gold. This should get you, if they both stay, 7,000 gold a pop. And then if you double that, you'll be able to get 14,000 gold. But Heath wasn't actually able to use his, um, his wine. So if you want to look for some um, for some gold, then yeah, come over here to Madagascar. That's a pretty nice place to go to. And that's Southern African um, Meteor. You can't actually go into this one, same deal. There is no hole to go into it, this one by uh, South America. But there is something else that I want to do down here over, in, um, over near Baja Peninsula. Just kind of... Um, don't land game. Yeah, just kind of go back and forth real he right here. And hopefully we'll get what we want. Woohoo! We did! Sweet! This is the Golden Whale. 
Uh, yeah, just have everybody... Actually, you know what? Let's have Gen use his uh, two-times counter slash against him. You attack. Um, I'm going to have you, Mina, use the Fruit Cocktail. And Basil, you're going to go with... Uh, what's this guy weak against? He's not weak to anything. That's lovely. He has 5,000 HP, which really isn't all that much. Um, using magic is a very good way to go against him, can deal a lot of damage even though he isn't weak to anything. So between magic and then Gen's hit, you should be able to get him. It's somewhat of a rare encounter, but if you kill him, you get 20,000 gold doubled, so 40,000 gold! Yeah. So hang out here and all your gold problems will be alleviated. Although it is a much more common encounter over on Madagascar, um, if you'd rather fight those um, monsters over there. I'm not entirely sure which one's more efficient, but eh, it's something to look into. So, what are we going to do with all this gold that we got? Well, I'm going to tell you. Over here t uh, at Antarctica, you're going to see that there is... Let me find it. I'm trying to find it on my map. Okay, so going through here. Yeah, this is what I want. So here's Antarctica. We heard some guy talk about a blessed base on Antarctica. That must be it right there. But what I want to do is not go there and go right here onto this um, iceberg or island or whatever it is. And right around here. Yeah. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, okay. The Penguin Coast. Really? Yeah, this little penguin market, it's actually really nice. Basically, uh, it's very rare for this to happen, and it normally only happens towards the end of the game, not really right now. At least I haven't been able to trigger it to happen. Uh, basically, you come here, and for 30,000 gold apiece, you can buy any one of the various seeds in the game, the um, stat-enhancing seeds. So that's pretty nice. If you want to grind up and do that, you can. I might come back here later on in the game and check that out, but um, we'll see. I would honestly rather go here. This is the meteorite next to Australia. And uh, what I want to do is head on down to the bottom floor. And what do we have right here? The mango steam gun. That's really not why I came here, though. This gun? Yeah, it's um, not all that hot. Let's see, the rocket launcher gives him an attack of 144, and this brings it down to 140. So it's actually less than um, what he already has. The hit rate is more accurate, so it might be good to use, I guess. I mean, we could go ahead and stick it on him. Why not? Um, it would actually be kind of appropriate for what we're fighting around here. And uh, before we get into a battle, let me just heal everybody up, and then just wander. Because on this floor, you will always fight these Emperor Mango Steens. These guys have 8,000 HP, and they are hard. Use a shield trap, use times to counter, and have Basil guard. Oh, you know what? Actually, no, I don't even want him to guard. I wanted him to use a fruit cocktail. Yeah. Um, and then once that happens, okay, so getting this 8,000 HP down is going to be pretty difficult because this guy is hard. Okay, so yeah, you attack, you attack, you, um, yeah, heal up Heath, although Heath will probably die pretty soon, and yeah, fruit cocktail, definitely fruit cocktail. Any kind of, um, physical attacks from Mina or Basil will deal one damage. Any kind of magical attacks will also deal one damage. The only person who can really hurt him is Gen. Yeah, Heath can deal a little bit of damage with his attack, and that's only whenever you have the uh, defense down going on him. Otherwise, it really deals like no damage whatsoever. Um, so yeah, Basil, kind of useless, just guard. Mina on healing duty. And the attacks are going to be coming in from Gen and um, Heath. Try to have the um, the sunglasses equipped on Gen because that will really raise up his special rate um, and raise up the special the the um, the, the damage that he can do with his special attacks. Now, whenever you actually kill this guy, he will give you twenty thousand experience, and that's. 
doubled. Yeah, so 40,000 experience. This is a great place to level up. And I'm going to be spending some time here leveling up. Definitely. And here's my rationale. I said that I really didn't want to, re to level up, but at this point, the bosses are one-shotting you. And because of this crummy-ass bug, I can't actually revive my characters. So I feel like, hey, if I can't revive, that is, you know, some that's really hamstringing my strategy. So I might as well get a couple of levels in there to kind of offset that. So what I want to do is level up to about level 40. And once I get that done, I will meet you in a second. Okay, well, I got all that stuff taken care of. The main thing that I got when Hermina reached level 40 was an all healing spell. Yeah. Finally! It's about time! Basil did get some, um, some spells that are more powerful, like more powerful single targeting spells, like Fire 3 and Thunder 3, essentially. And now we can come over here to the Bless Base back in Tokyo, the very first one that we were ever at, and see this guy. Oh, uh-oh, yikes. Oh no, well we can't do that. We've gotta stop him. Not that it really matters. I mean like, this, I don't think that this has like anything to do with like, at all with anything. You don't get anything for doing this. It's just something different. Um, I honestly think that you could probably skip this. It's just like a little bit of storyline, a little bit extra. There's nothing else here. So, yeah, I don't know. I probably should have done this the first time that it came to Japan, but I forgot. So, sue me. But that pretty much ends all of our side questing that we can do right now. If you want to spend some time grinding for Cosmo Stones, grinding for experience, grinding for gold, hey, be my guest. I've showed you how to do it. So, um, I might do a little bit more, but probably not. I think I'm good to go. I actually just kind of want to move the story along. So let's head on inside of New York and uh, go talk to the chiefs at the Bless Base. Oh. Oh, it's the mailman again. Um, hey there, guy. What's going on? Okay. Yeah, you always seem out of breath. How did you even get over here? Yeah, like, according to everybody else, there are no more ships, there are no more planes or anything. Would you ride your bike across the ocean or something? Ah, I don't know. Whatever. And at this point, you know, they have computer terminals. You would think that they would have email. I guess they didn't think about email back in 1996. Who knows? Okay, the White Ash Slash. Oh, great. Yeah. So this is another one of those skills that we've seen in multiple JRPGs where it's essentially the lower amount of HP you have, the more damage you can deal. Normally, those are somewhat maybe decent. I don't really like them all that much, but in this game especially, I don't like it. Because you can't revive yourself. So if you think that I'm going to get my HP down dangerously low just to maybe deal some piddly damage with this thing, and like take the risk of actually dying to never be revived again, you've lost your damn mind ain't gonna happen. But anyway, what's the next mission that they have in store for us here in uh, New York? Find out next time on Let's Play God. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.